Hello, in this video, I will demonstrate how to install Windows 10. I already have Windows 10 installed on a different machine, so I'm going to do so using my Linux machine via a workstation. Basically, it's it's basically like a virtual computer, right? A computer within my computer, if that's how you, I can say it. Um, you're going to need a flash drive. Get a USB flash drive of, of at least 8 gigabytes in space. In my opinion, just go grab yourself a 16 gigabyte flash drive. They're, they're really cheap. You're also going to need a Windows 10 license. Um, now, I just want to put it out there and let you guys know that I'm not going to be providing you with the Windows license key because I don't want to get into trouble. So you're going to need to find yourself a valid license key elsewhere. Maybe from your job or maybe from, you know, let me not even say that. Just go purchase one. <laughs> That's the proper way for me to do things. Uh, so right now, I'm also going to assume that you have a computer that you can work with to get this done. Possibly another computer, maybe a work computer or a friend's computer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, now, I'm going to demonstrate how to get this done on my workstation, like I said earlier. So basically, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to have to go to this website and download the the installation media tool from Microsoft. Now, I already did that, right? The link will be in the description box for you to get this from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this here and I'm going to run it. Now, the application, you don't have to install it. It's an independent executable. So you should just be able to run it. So I'm just going to hit yes. You should see a pop up soon. So now it's going to take a bit of time for it to sync up and do what it needs to do. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back. All right, so now it's all set and ready. So now all you got to do is just hit accept. Okay, and by the way, at this time, plug in your USB flash drive into your computer. Now it's going to take a little bit more time to do what it's going to do. So I will pause the video again. Okay, I'm back. Now you, let me bring that back up. So now you want to already have the USB flash drive plugged into your computer while this is running. So you're not going to do an upgrade. You're going to do the, you're going to create an installation media. Now let's click next. You're going to choose your language. Windows 10 is going to be the only option. However, the architecture, you're going to have three options. You're going to use it. You're going to either use a 32 bit system, uh, a setup, or you're going to use a 64 bit system, or you could use both. Um, me personally, I choose 64 bit because that's the type of hardware that I'm running on my computer. Now, the quickest way for you to find out what type of hardware you're running is to download a software called CPU-Z. I have it right here. You can go to this website to download it yourself. Let's go here. Now, when this link will be in the description box. Now, when you download it, you can just go to the zip file and download your version. And when you pull it up, you're going to see this information here. Now, if you look under the CPU tab, if you go down to instructions, you're going to see something that says x86 either 32 or 64. So I'm running a 64 bit uh, uh, system. Therefore, I'm going to choose 64 bit, or I can choose both, but I'm just going to choose 64 bit. You choose the one that's right for your system. All right, now I'm going to click next. Uh, so again, you're going to use the flash drive uh, uh, option here. Click next. Speed removable drives. Flash drive list. We're going to choose. Now, basically what this is showing me is showing me the C drive on this workstation. And it's showing the USB drive that I have connected. Now, choose anything but the C drive. The C drive is always going to be the main drive of the system that you're currently working from. Don't choose that one. Just choose here. Okay. Now the letter, the drive letter may be different. I just want to note that this is the drive letter from my system. Your system might have F. It might say D. It might say um, um, it might say G. All right. So just click next. And now let it do its thing. What it's going to do is it will format the flash drive 
and begin to set up all the files that's needed to boot into Windows from your USB drive. So uh, let me pause this, the video and I'll come back when it's complete. Okay, so now that your USB is all set up, all you need to do is to get your computer to boot up into the USB, not your hard drive. Now, in order to do this, when you restart your computer, you're going to have to immediately start hitting F10, F11, F12, F5 through F8, right? It really depends on your motherboard, okay? Now, for my motherboard, I have to repeatedly hit F11. It's just the way how my motherboard is set up. Now, instead of having to restart your computer to figure out which motherboard you have, all you need to do is open up your CPU-Z application, go to the main board tab, look in the manufacturer, look at the model, go into Google, plug in the manufacturer model, and next to it, type boot menu. So for me, I have my model number here. This is what came up for me. It'll be very simple for you to get this information. And when you do that, reboot your computer, set it up so it boots into the USB, and you should be all set. Okay, so now I'm back. All right, so this is what you should be presented with. All right, let me just get this out of the way. That anymore. All right, so so now you're gonna choose your language and all the information that you know you need to choose, and then hit next, and then install now. Now, this is where you're going to enter in your license key. Now, again, I'm not going to give you my license key because I don't want to get into trouble. So what you're going to do is, if you don't have one, just choose I don't have a product key. Windows is cool like that. You know, they'll let you install the operating system for a trial period. I don't really know how long that trial period is. And, and I also know that there are some limitations to not having a license. Um, I, I don't know what that what those limitations are um, if I find out I guess I'll make another video and let you know otherwise you could just Google it so for now um, like I said I already have Windows installed on another virtual machine with a valid license so I'm not gonna do it again here so I'm just gonna click I don't have a product key and continue now here's where you're gonna choose the version of Windows that you want to install on your system For the purposes of this video I'm just going to install regular uh, Windows 10 home version. Hit next. Hit accept. And go to custom install. Okay. Now, earlier in this video, I, I suggested that you unplug all of the extra hard drives that you have in your system. Right. Now, more than likely, your system is the, 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 the labels that your hard drives have. They're not labeled in, in a fashion as to where you can tell which one is which. Okay, so they might show up as something like this. They might show up in many different names. Okay, so this is what I meant by you not being able to choose which hard drive, which, which hard drive to properly install Windows on. Could choose the wrong one, right? Now, if you had unplugged all of your hard drives, you'd only see the one that you plan on installing Windows on, okay? Uh, what I'll likely do is I'll make a video for uh, uh, the individuals who have multiple hard drives and they need help figuring out which ones to pick, okay? So but for now, I'm assuming that you all unplugged all of your external hard drives, all of the extra internal hard drives, and all you have is just one left. Okay, so now you're just going to choose it and then click next. Now, Windows is going to do its thing. This could take a bit of time. So I'm going to pause the video again and I'll be back. Okay, so Windows is pretty much all set up. There's nothing else for you to do here. Anything moving forward from here, it's just you setting up your personal settings. For those of you who would like to see the rest of the installation, you can continue watching the rest of the video. For those of you who don't need to, you can end it pretty you can pretty much end it here. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, you know, subscribe and hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Thanks.